Hello fellow Capsuleers, this is Cyclohexanol, and on this episode of the Wrecked Academy, we're going to be talking about Z Killboard. Now we do have things within Z Killboard that we know very well. We can easily search up people's names and try and look through their boards to, you know, find their fits and stuff. If we want to go and hit this losses button over here, we can just scroll through and kind of look at the losses, look for a potential ship that they might have lost that we want to see the fit of before we fight them. Now, say I wanted to look for, say, a hurricane. Let's say I, I'm not Cyclo, and we're looking for him in a hurricane. We want to know what his fit is before we engage him with our own ship, right? So just by scrolling through this board, we don't really see a hurricane. But luckily, there is a feature in Ezekiel where, where we can actually do an advanced search if we know how. So we're going to come over here to a new page in Ezekiel board, and we're going to search up the hurricane. You go ahead and click on the hurricane, and you're going to see up here in the, the uh, little URL bar, we're going to have a little tail over here, ship, slash, and then a number. That number actually tells us the ship that it is. It's, it's ship identity within the game, right? So we're just going to go ahead and copy that little tail right there, and we're going to bring it over here. And... At the end of this search bar, we're going to put the tail on there. So now we're just going to see all of Psychohexanol's hurricane losses, which is going to be a pretty quick way to gather the intel that we need on what his likely fits are. Then we'll just check out a couple of these, and we'll know uh, just about what his fit is. Another fun little tag that we can use for doing these searches is actually on alliance tag or a corporation tag so we know that the tuskers have been recently flying around in some nano kiting drakes and let's say we want to find that fit so we're gonna, we're gonna look for the tuskers right over here and we're gonna go ahead and click on the alliance so we could scroll through this and maybe find a drake after a little while or we could go to the losses but really quickly it'd just be a lot easier to go over here we'll type in drake we're going to go ahead and grab the ship tag here. We're going to come over here. And we're not going to put in losses yet. Because we want to see how effective they've really been with this. And from this we can kind of see that it's been an effective small gang roaming comp for them. Now we could click on that Drake and start going through these pages really slowly. Or we could just really quickly up here. And we, can't, we can't come down here and click on the losses because it'll just give us all of the Tusker's losses. It'll take that first tag and show you the losses for it. So we're going to come up here and we're going to type in that losses. And then we're going to get all their Drake losses. We can uh, click on a couple of these and from looking at a few of these, we can kind of get the idea that they have long point, web, sometimes an MJD, they go with a micro, two nanos, and they got heavy missiles and a link. Now there's a useful other set of tags that we can actually toss in here, and those are the system, constellation, and regional tags. Right now we're going to throw in a system tag that we find ourselves using at least once a year, and we're going to go for PE1. This is the main alliance tournament system on Tranquility, so we're going to go ahead and grab this system, and right here we see uh, all the losses in the system. The only losses in the system are, of course, alliance tournament losses, and we know that there were really, there, there were Harbinger Navy fits, and this year maybe... Uh, we want to take a look at the past fits and compare them against the ones we're coming up with and see what we can do and if we can do it better. Uh, we can scroll through a lot of these and just go through several pages, see what each alliance fit, or we could toss in these alliances tags, or we can simply just go over here, go for that Harbinger Navy. We can grab this ship tag real quick, and we can put it on the end of here. So we have a system tag and a ship tag, and here we can see... From there, we have all the kills and losses. So we're going to toss on that losses tab. And then we should have all of the Harbinger Navy losses in this system. As far back as Sea Kill has been recording. Now this can be used in other ways with your system tag. You can toss in the system tag and alliance tag. Or like a constellation tag and alliance tag. To potentially see what an alliance would use for home defense. If you try to go roaming in their space or something of that nature. The last tag that we really want to talk about right now is we're going to be talking about the ship grouping tag. But to do this, we're going to be going through a scenario where we're hunting 
carriers and black rise because carriers will be dropped on easy to kill targets for easy ganks or targets that uh, a grouping can't particularly kill. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try and hunt for some carriers. So we have the black rise pulled up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull up this carrier group tag. It's not a ship tag, it's a group tag. But uh, let's go ahead and grab this tag. It's group 547. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight that and copy it over. Then we're just gonna add this tag over here. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the uh, tags without the losses tag because we kinda wanna see the, the kills as well. We want to see how many dudes are actually on the target. And it looks like right here we got a hard navy without uh, too many people on. It's got like five dudes. And yeah, it looks like they potentially couldn't break it quickly enough or they just wanted to bring in the carrier. So uh, the grouping tag kind of allows us to do some more interesting things. In this video we covered several URL tags you can actually use to advance search Z-Kill and with these URL tags it's important to realize that you can't just use them in the scenarios that we stated. There are many many more scenarios you can actually use them for. Uh, those are just the ones we used as examples. Look at these tags like tools in your toolbox to use when you're looking up intel on potential opponents. Thanks for watching and don't forget to fly dangerous.